If you guys only knew what was going on in WWE. Karrion Cross returns to the company. The same Karrion Cross who was getting jobbed the fuck out as soon as he came up to NXT. Any guy that Triple H was making, Vince McMahon was tearing down. Now all of a sudden, Vince McMahon wants to work with Triple H, and we have this. This is why Vince McMahon is still running things in WWE. You want to know why? Because every time Vince McMahon brought somebody up to, from the NXT roster that he liked, sudden push, and then deep push. It happened with a lot of guys. Kevin Owens. Remember, John Cena really kind of hasn't gotten back to the same level. Finn Balor won the Universal title at SummerSlam. Never got his rematch. Has never been the same since. Ricochet faces AJ Styles at SummerSlam for the IC title. Wasn't he the IC champion? He's the, he was the IC champion recently, but that don't fucking mean shit right now because how bad the roster is. He gets de-pushed. This has been routine for Vince McMahon. There is no natural build to the top of the card with these new guys that he brings into the company. He doesn't have the patience that he had in the past with a Bret Hart and the Shawn Michaels and the guys that would just me like just just go right up the card. Think of Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? Stone Cold Steve Austin. 1996 King of the Ring. He wins the King of the Ring. June of 96. By March of 1998, he finally gets his title. He's in a submission match against Bret Hart at WrestleMania 13. He gets his title match a year later. Karrion Cross is going to challenge for a title? Already? What the fuck did he do? This is the same shit. And I hope you guys aren't stupid. So everything that I reported from a couple weeks ago is now turning out to be 100% true. They're going to potentially split up the titles. Which is actually an idea that I pitched to these guys. You guys, for you guys that don't know... Go back and check out my Drew McIntyre Royal Rumble thing, okay? So I actually know some of the writers, all right, at WWE. And this is something that they wanted to do. I actually recommended this to them. I'm, I'm not kidding, by the way. All right, this is why I have in, inside info. I have more inside info than, than the guys at Figure Four Online. The guys at Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Dave Meltzer, Brian Alvarez. I got the inside scoop. This is bad. This is very, very, very bad. And you know why it's Vince McMahon? Because it's booked just like a 1980s angle. Let's go have somebody come out, brutally attack somebody, leave something in the ring, and just go walk out of the ring. Let's, let's just do a fucking, let's beat you up angle. Let's, like, we've been doing this for the last 30 fucking years. This is, this is pathetic. This is pathetic, guys. And for, this, for the people that are defending this, there's no defense. Karrion Cross was getting jobbed the fuck out. Now all of a sudden you're supposed to make me believe that he can come back and beat Roman Reigns? Who the f He was losing in like less than five minutes to people. I could, I'm not going to go research right now who he was losing to. I don't give a shit. We know what he was doing. He was getting jobbed the fuck out. He wasn't beating anybody. So I was talking to a couple of the writers the other day and I literally said to them, hey, like why, why is Roman holding both titles? It's actually sinking your company, okay? It's sinking your company because you have nothing below Roman Reigns right now. You guys don't have a roster, all right? So I recommended that he split up the titles into two. And you, you have him defend one title while also having to defend the other. So you, all of a sudden, you got two different kind of feuds going on at the same time. 
you could have two titles defended. Because right now, you need to split the titles up. You, you need to do this. So I, 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 didn't, I didn't agree with what they did at, at Rumble. And I actually fucking pitched this a couple of months ago, honestly. But I, I wound up talking about it again. And now they want to fucking agree with me. So I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to, if you guys don't believe me, I'm going to go put the Drew McIntyre Rumble that I booked for him a couple years ago. And they essentially copied it and, and used it at the Rumble. Man, I'm getting sick of this shit. So these writers are using my stuff while at the same time I'm talking shit on Vince McMahon. So they're using my stuff. I'm getting sick of this shit, man. I hope you guys aren't a bunch of morons. I hope you recognize what's going on. Just check out the patterns. Recognize the patterns. Guys that are getting pushed too quickly, they're, they, they're all here, right? They go up here quick, right? They lose, and then it's all the way down. Karrion Cross makes his return, and he's going to be jobbing in like six months. Less than that, three months. You're going to lose to Madcap Moss. Just like Ricochet lost to Riddick Moss. Became Madcap Moss. They didn't do anything with him. Just like Seth Rollins beats Buddy fucking Matthews. Didn't do anything with him. Released him from the company. Brian Danielson beats Drew Gulak. Or Drew Gulak beats Brian Danielson. Didn't do anything with Drew Gulak. Is he still even there? So this shit's getting tiring, all right? And I pitched this shit like three months ago. They turned me down. Now they fucking agree with me. I hate this shit. So, you know, if, if you know, I, I, I know these guys don't necessarily like these videos. I really don't care. I don't care. Because I miss my fucking WWE. I miss my WWF. I miss the way that it used to be. They wouldn't agree with me. It's like, okay, well, I told you this three fucking months ago. You should have never had Roman win both titles. Period. Why the fuck is he winning both titles? So now we want to go back to separate titles? Now you want to listen to me? This is a joke. This is what Vince McMahon does. And I'm upset. Because I thought that I could come back to this company pretty soon. I saw what they did on Monday Night Raw with Tommaso Ciampa. This is exactly what I talked about on Monday night. You guys, some of you guys in the comment section are told me I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. This is the same kind of push. This is the same shit. This is not, this is not. Triple H is recommending to Vince McMahon who the superstars are that he should be pushing. But Vince McMahon doesn't have the patience anymore because he's older. He doesn't have the patience to let somebody ascend up the card the way it should be, naturally. Just like Triple H, just like Mick Foley back in the day, just like Stone Cold Steve Austin, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels. Karrion Cross is not the exception to the rule like Brock Lesnar was. Karrion Cross was a jobber. Vince McMahon said he was only smoke and mirrors. You take the entrance away, there's nothing there. Now he's back. And he's going to challenge for a title? Joke. So just when I thought I'm, I might return, I was, listen, Champa was exactly what I said it was because now they're doing it again. It's the same shit. And now they want to fucking copy me. I told you this three fucking months ago. I don't care if you get pissed. I don't give a shit. Don't copy me. Now. Should have copied me then. I told you doing two titles was a bad idea. I'm not going to watch your company. So I will attach my Drew McIntyre rumble that I fucking pitched for, to these guys a couple years ago that they wound up copying and using. And now they're doing it again.
I need a lot better Vince McMahon before I come back. Triple H is not the head of creative. Vince McMahon is. I fucking told you guys.